folks we're now in our next video in number theory and in this video we're going to talk about the next part of our chapter in the theory of congruences okay so we're going to have now another step further in this theory of congruences and this topic is about the chinese remainder theorem okay so in this video we're not going to reach that yet okay we cannot reach the concept yet but we're going to build on to the details of what the theorem needs so let's first define that um or let's first remember rather that we have studied linear congruences and seen how to solve each congruence when they are solvable now in turn now it's turn it's our turn now to solve a set of two or more linear congruences in the same number of variables um, such set is what we call a set of system of a system of linear congruences so it's a system of linear congruences if it has two or more uh, linear congruences in the same number of variable so to begin with we shall study system of linear congruences in a single variable x with pairwise relative prime moduli we then turn to systems of x with moduli that are not necessarily relatively prime and finally to systems in two variables x and y with the same modulus now systems of linear congruences in a single variable were known in ancient china india and greece originally they were used by astronomers for calendar making the following puzzle is based on this will be given as an example is based or due to the chinese a mathematician Sun Chu okay Sun Chu and appears in his um, great book master Sun's mathematical manual which was written between 287 AD to 473 AD and the puzzle goes like this okay so the puzzle goes like this find a number that leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by 3 a remainder of 2 when divided by 5 and the remainder of 3 when divided by 7 so we need to find a number that um, gives us a remainder of 1 when we divide it by 3 2 when we divide it by 5 and 3 when we divide it by 7 so using the our language that we have learned in the theory of congruences one can convert these words into congruence symbols so just like this so when you say the first statement leaves a remainder a remainder of one when divided by three so this is the first one using the congruence language the riddle is to find the integer x where x first gives us a remainder of one when divided by three leaves a remainder of two when divided by five so the remainder is here the division is here or the divisor is here and also gives us a remainder of three here and the divide and the di when, the, when it is divided by seven okay so we're going to find that particular x value um, based on this system of linear congruences so take note that a solution every time we, we say a solution of a linear system is a number that satisfies every member of that system so for example here um, in this particular example of ours so we have x we don't know what x is here what x is here and what x is here but one can observe that we can get the value of x um, first by trial and error so we can see that um, if x is going to be 52 so if x oh, sorry about that if x is equal to 52 just a moment 52 so what do you have so therefore in the first statement we have 52 is congruent to 1 mod 3 and I think this is correct okay 52 is congruent to 1 mod 3 52 divided by 3 is going to give us what um, 17 with the remainder of one let's get to the next number next congruence x is congruent to 2 mod 5 so that's going to give us 52 is congruent to 2 mod 5 which is also true 
at 52 divided by 5 is 10 with a remainder of 2. So this is true. And for the last one, we have 52 is congruent to 3 mod 7. So what is a table of 7, by the way? So we have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. Okay, after 42, we'll have um, 49. So 52 divided by 7 is 49, remainder 3. So therefore, um, we can see that um, 52 is a solution of the above Chinese riddle. So therefore, we can say, uh, hence, we can say that 52 okay, is a solution. Okay, that's enough for now. 52 is a solution. But if you're going to check out some other integers, we can see that negative 53 is also a solution and 157 is also a solution. In fact, this system has infinitely many solutions. Okay, again, this system. So you may verify that um, 22 also is not a solution of the problem. Okay, 22 is not a solution of the problem. Let's try. 22 divided by 3 is 21, or rather is 7, remainder 7, 7, <laughs> remainder 1, that's correct. Um, 22 is congruent to 2 mod 5, okay, 22 divided by, fi by 5 is, is 4, remainder 2, okay. How about here? Let's have what, 22, 22 remainder 3 mod 7. So 22 is not congruent to 3 mod 7 because um, 22 is going to give us um, divided by 7 is 3 with remainder 1, not with remainder 3. So therefore, um, if one of the values of x does not fit the the congruence of the of the system, so that x does not satisfy, okay, the whole system itself, the linear system. Okay, so a straightforward method of of drawing such linear system is what we call by iteration. Again. A straightforward method for solving such a linear system, just like one the one above, is what we call by iteration, or simply iteration. This is the successive substitution for x until the last congruence is um, used. Okay, as the following example, we will be creating that um, video in the future. But take note that we will be expecting something after this video. So we're going to solve Sun Chu's puzzle, the one that was written before, above rather, by iteration. Okay, so by iteration. So I think this is the best time to end the video now. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you would like and also subscribe. Okay, thanks.